What's up everybody, welcome back to update 1.11.12 on Last Day Nerf Survival. For those that have been out of touch, this is the update that has added the mercenaries to the game. Now, something that was pointed out to me on stream the other day, <coughs> pardon me, the mercenaries actually have their own bit in the store. And there's three different mercenaries you can hire, so there's Farmer Hugh, Scout Kate, and Thug Bill. So I think at some point we are going to be doing a video with possibly Farmer Hugh and then a PD run with Thug Bill. However, today I'm planning on doing just a nice normal separate raid video. So we want to take a couple C4 with us. I've had a look into the base. Oh, also I should specify, we're doing this lovely nice raid video. And we are taking with us some beautiful fully modded scars. Because I have just finished the mods for them. Yeah, let me grab one scar and I'll grab another and make up some hatchets and then I'll show you the modifications set that I'm going for. There we go, that can go into that. I oh, guess no room. Got space in there? Yeah. Right, let's grab that. Let's grab that. So we want to make probably like five or six of these. I think we can make six from two full stacks of 20. So, yeah, modding scars has taken a while. I believe the scar modifications were actually the first ever gun mods I made in the game. However, I think I made two of the mods and then realised that scars are pretty rare and there's no point putting the time and effort into modding them all. However, I've since decided that scars are rare, but they're powerful. And if you're going to get one, you might as well have a fully modded one. So, we're going for the extended magazine because it adds to crit chance and durability, whereas that one just adds durability. Drum magazine will increase damage, however, it decreases stability quite a bit, and so does the double drum. Actually, well, to, to be fair, the double drum is definitely one that's worth going for, because mm, that's a quite, a quite a big increase to crit damage. I might have to look into that at another point. But we've got that one, we have got the... Have I actually completed all the others already? Uh, yes, I have. Okay, so our scar is going to go from looking like this to this. So it's quite a big change in stats. So if we... Oh, let's actually add the... What is it that we want to add? There we go. Add that one in there. So the crit chance and damage is incredible on this. Oh, and we can also... Decrease the... No ah, there we go, yeah. So we want to silence it. So that does decrease the stability a bit, as well as the damage and crit chance. However, we're going on raids, so we need to do it. There we go. Now, hatchets-wise, there are some level 2 walls to break on this base, but I've got a few in my inbox that I could take with me. Right, let's grab everything out of here. And... So the base we are raiding is called Bob Grum. I've researched it a little bit online and it looks like there's some decent items there for us. Well, I didn't look at the items, I looked at the layout of the base and I saw where they went to find the trunks. Because trunks are the ones that we want to go for. But I have absolutely no idea what is inside the boxes. Okay, Bob Grum. I am going to take your loot, I hope you don't mind. How's my armor durability? That's quite good. I remember my tactical backpack as well. Always a step up. Got four. Oh, we've only got two weeks left with the mercenaries. That's a real shame. So as the dev said, I'll try and remember to throw the screenshot on the image on the video here now for you to see. The event that we have for the mercenaries is temporary because it's just to test out their mechanics before they get added to a location like the outposts. Okay, so it's not that one. Is it this one we want to break into? Yeah. So we're just going to blow down the door here. Boop, 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 boom. And then we want to blow down that door as well. Now I think it should just be two C4 on this road. Yeah, perfect. Oh, that is powerful. They're just instantly gone. The range obviously nerfed quite a bit. But with the increased stability, requires iron hatchet. There we go. Let's grab an iron hatchet. Oh, hello. Yeah, I want to try and take a look next time and see what critical hits we're actually getting. 
Okay, and then we want to break through this way. Um, I'm going to check on the video quickly which one it is I actually need to break through. Okay, so I was completely wrong. We do not break that way. That would take us in the wrong direction. We would like to break this door here. So we're skipping straight over these chests. And then I think we take an immediate left, or is this open? Yeah, this is open. And then we need another one to break there. Right, where is... There we go. So there better be some good stuff in these boxes. This here should be a 3 by one room with the trunks in it. There we go. And what are we going to get? First trunk. Two silenced blocks. I was kind of hoping for a little bit better after all of that. I won't lie. What are we getting in this one? That's a bit more like it. Full durability VSS. A Winchester that I can put up on my wall. Flaring on, etc, etc. Okay, and let's see what's in the blue one. Hopefully blue means steel. That'd be very nice if blue means steel. No, blue means SWAT. Okay, I am very happy with that because I never have enough armor. Okay, we're actually going to do this kind of organized. There we go. That'd be awesome if I could actually just take five sets of SWAT away with me. I might, 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 might even be able to take more. All depends on what items I want to keep. But as it is, I am not fussed, really, about a Winchester or a minigun. Let's organise that quickly. So honestly, I'd be happy to leave with that or maybe even another set. Um, I'll grab those two. Actually, you know what? I'll take a hatchet instead. Okay, let me see if the person breaks through any more walls in this base. Okay. What noise are we at? Because I might have messed up this raid majorly. Can you stop creeping, please? Hmm. What noise are we at? We're at 88. Okay, this room here is completely filled with boxes. That is a real shame. What are we getting in there? Bits of iron in there. Okay, I'm going to throw some bits into my chopper. Oh, hello, enemies. I forgot you would all be here. So good. Fired for so long without missing a single shot there. And then back up. Oh, I love that box still in the game. And then that one can die. Oh, what? Uh, why does a silenced scar still make noise? Get out the way, get out the way, get out the way. Okay. I hate to break it to you devs, but a silencer on a weapon normally means that it's then silent, not that it carries on making noise. Oh, that's annoying. Well, we still got five full sets of SWAT from that. Five full SWAT sets, a VSS, a flare gun, a minigun, and a Glock, as well as a hatchet. Yeah, that's got a silencer on it. Why does that still make noise? Oh, that's annoying. That is very annoying. Okay. Well then, that's kind of scuppered my plans. Alright, um, I wonder if I've cashed in any boxes at the police department. Let me go and find out quickly. Unfortunately, I can't do what I planned, which was five blues, because I have already opened three green ones. Which is a bit of a shame, I think I did that the other day. Ah, I just spoiled there what I was going to do. I did that the other day when I was trying to get more weapon crates for a video I've got coming up. But what I have got on me is two of these lovely purple inspector cards. For those that have been coming out to streams, you have seen that I've been doing 20 waves on the police department, about twice per stream normally for Raiders tasks. And off stream, I did 99 waves three times, or yeah, two or three times now. It takes about two hours to do. It's ridiculous. So anyway, we have got our first ever purple boxes. Let's see what we get from them. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Scar, um, the Site X4, I'm not sure if that's the active skill one. There you go, that just gave us five factory parts right there. Two M16s, a shotgun, and a Glock. With some pretty decent mods to it, as well as some adrenaline. That's nice. And what are we getting in this one? That is the Silencer. 
already got that, although to be fair we've got most mods. And yeah, another five factory parts, as well as some shotguns and an AK. That is really nice. So at the moment I am working on just purely stashing and stacking up on the adrenaline. And hoping that in the update where the outpost is added, well, when the mercenary event ends, we do not lose the adrenaline. Here's hoping at least. And then click take all. Right, so I was planning on, yeah, trying to open up five blues, but oh well. Right then, let's try our lovely scar, see how many shots it's going to miss. So it could have just shoot consistently, missed one shot there. One shot against three enemies missed. Zero shots missed. Okay, let's see. Ah, oh, zombie officers are always a pain. I hate shooting these guys because they just never die. Okay, he's got his shield out. So that's not very fair. If you can put your shield away, we can then have a sensible argument. Put your shield. Thank you. Let's see how fast we can kill him. That was pretty damn fast. Okay, and let's see if he's got any grenades in this room for us. Because, ooh, I think I'm almost up to three... F What's that for us? Ooh, the survivor notes. I'll take that. Yeah, I think I'm almost up to three full stacks of grenades. Get in there at least. And nothing in there. So yeah, as you can see, I'm now level 195. I have been doing the police department a lot. What you got for me? One brown ticket? Come on, it... Is anyone going to give me a nice one? Or are we just going to get these basic tickets from here? I'm thinking we're just going to get basic tickets, aren't we? Yeah. Well, you know what? We've got a room full of enemies here. Let's just gun everything down. The scar is almost, not quite, almost as powerful as my AK now. For those who don't know, a fully modded AK is a beast of a gun. And yeah, this scar is almost as powerful. Alright, we got, I think, a few more zombies we can kill. Ooh, I wonder if this guy's going to drop a gatekeeper. His health, his health just disappeared there. Like, I couldn't even see it, read it, clicking down there. It was just chunk by chunk by chunk gone. Hey, a grenade that I will probably forget to come back for because I think I have more important items at the moment. Oh, well. Right then. And we've got one more locked thing up here, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, I already opened that on stream, I guess. Is this guy going to stand up? Do, 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 do. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Sorry, you're a little bit dead. My bad. Right. Have I left anything in these boxes? Uh, almost broken set in military. Okay, nothing else. All right, then. Well... This scar is pretty powerful. I think it deserves to be tested against the blind one. So I'm going to hop over to Bunker Alpha quickly. I'm going to have to go and mod a few more weapons in the meantime. Okay then everybody, I am almost over with the blind one. Ah, damn it. Kill them. Come on, Dirk. Help me. I'll let you take that out. Well, come on. Finish him off. There we go. Right. I was trying to hide Dirk from you all, but yes, I am over here. Taking on the blind one with my mercenary buddy, who is also fully equipped with scars and I believe SWAT armor. Yeah. Right then, we're going to try killing the big one. The um, blind one, not the big one. There is absolutely no point killing the big one. It is amazing some of the stuff you can do with the mercenaries. Let me just drop in a quick clip here from the stream the other day. There we go, we're showering together. <laughs> Oh, he can't come in! Oh, that's so disappointing! Oh, well that's... that really sucks. I was looking forward to killing him with Dirk here. Yeah? Oh. We did 400 damage to him in one round there. That's literally just three rounds to kill him. That's almost as fast as using the grenade launcher, which I believe I do in two rounds. Wow, that's ridiculous. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so good. Yep, I know you're sitting out there feeling useless, Dirk. Well, you know what? You are a little bit useless. I was planning on bringing you here to come and kill this guy with me. 
Instead, you're just going to have to help me clear out the rest of the floor, show off your amazing scar skills. Right, can we do 294 damage to him? We can! What are we getting? Just the usual stuff. Oh, now you come in? Now you come in, do you? Well, I thought you were useful, boy. Damn it, Dirk. Right, let's take out these. Oh, yes, we can reach the French Giant. Is he going to? No, okay, so he can't reach the French Giant. We didn't even use an entire scar to kill the blind. That's ridiculous. So, one cool thing you can do with the mercenary, they are not damaged by explosions. Oh, also, by the way, Frenzy Giants will run at random speeds now. They will not always run at 150 HP. It can be anything. Right, you, take that one on for me. You're shooting a little bit too slow. So yeah, they're not damaged by explosions. So you can actually just leave them to fight. For example, this Frenzy Giant, he's going to get distracted with him. I just love it. It makes hard mode so much easier because the Frenzy Giant isn't going to sprint for you if you are in front of your mercenary. He's. Can you get out of the way, please? Thank you. Let me take them. What are we getting in here? Disappointed we didn't get a grenade in that locked box. I don't know why I care so much about grenades. I am absolutely awful with them. I think I've only ever successfully killed one enemy with a grenade. But they're nice to have. I'm trying to get up an entire safe full of them, which isn't going to happen. Oh, I haven't got almost two stacks. I've got almost five stacks. That's why I'm trying. Oh, I forgot how many I had. Yeah, I think I need seven or 13 more, something like that. You think I would know this. They say a lot about you. Hopefully all that is true. Well, it depends what they say about me. They might say I'm ruthless to my employees, and you wouldn't want that to be true. Okay, you can die. Ah, let's deal with these ones. Right, mercenary, you distract. There we go. We're just obliterating them. And if my gun breaks here, I'll leave Sneezy here to deal with them. Okay, now you can take them on. Would you like to finish them off, please? Why did you not use a med kit? Well, this might not be good. Can I get you stuck there? Why didn't he use a med kit? He should have plenty of them. Let's go and find out. What is he doing? Yep, I'm coming to get you, Dirk. There you go. What are you doing? You've got med kits. Why didn't you use your med kit? Were you sneezing? Oh, you moron. Well, we've got a couple more Frenzy Giants left around here. So, if you would like to finish that one off for me. Thank you. There we go. You get in there. As much of a pain he is, adrenaline, a lot easier to get. So, easily worth the occasional hiccup where he just kind of gets himself killed. Although, to be fair, when Casey died on stream the other day, that was my fault. I did leave him to be on his own fighting what was it, Savage Giants at the farm with just his fists, which is never going to end well. Alright then, what I really want to do is test to see how... Oh, I set off the alarm. Okay. Oh, that's what the alarm does, it aggroes them. Okay. Right. I think you're going to heal yourself, Duck. What I want to do is test the mercenary, see how they change this room. Dirk, they're not attacking you at all. I almost died there. Oh, I forgot about the explosion. I wasn't expecting to have to deal with them. We leveled up! Nice! Level 196. What are we going to go for? Let's max out the Iron Miner. There we go. So the only skills left to get is... Well, only skill left to get will be the Copper Miner. Because I never go Copper Mining. We are getting so close to max level. Four to go. It would be really cool if they actually added something at level 200. It would also be cool if they added something at 200 reputation with the Raiders. But hey-ho. Can't get everything you want in life. Right then. Can you give me a notebook? No. Okay. I'm just going to gun all of you down. And now I easily have got enough to open up. Well, to get another floppy disk. Dirk, 
you might have a weird name, but you are my bestie. So, thank you. Right. Frenzy Giant here to deal with. Would you mind aiding me or just standing there? That's cool too, I guess. And then, I th mm, should we bother killing the... F yeah, we might as well kill the last Frenzy Giant. We're here, so there's no point ignoring bits and then not being as close to a floppy disk next time when I want one. Okay. Oh, I was kind of hoping... Ah. Watchtowers provide a great view. They would, but we can't climb up them. I'm really hoping that we get the swamp added soon. They released the little teaser video for it a while ago where you saw a player running through the swamp, so I am really hoping we get that. Oh, you poor thing. You getting back up? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, he died there because he wasn't full health and the frenzy giant smacked him on the nose. Oh, and of course we're going to have to deal with that room full of toxic spitters there, aren't we? Um, let's equip one more. Come on then. That's so nice. I really like it. Dirk, stop it. Wouldn't it be perfect if we end off the video by getting a scar out of this floppy disk? I think that would be the ideal situation here. Or a, mm, a grenade launcher is nice, but I think it'd be better if we get a scar from it. Just for completion's sake. Right then, I'm guessing we're going to get two C4. What else are we going to get? An M16. Oh well. What is that? Military motorcycle. I don't want that. I want the off-road bike. Come on, stop giving me the military motorcycle. And another set of SWAT. We've gotten five, six, seven, eight sets of SWAT in today's video. I actually had to stop and count that there for a second. Right. And let's grab all of these bits. What do I want? What are you? Give the sickle. I'm not even going to bother taking that away. Right then, everybody, I think I'm going to end off the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've all enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you next time. Goodbye.